Hey guys, it's Keely, and today I have a massive, massive book haul to show you and a book outlet unboxing. There are about 30 books, and this goes from like December to now. And the reason why that it's such a long span of time and a lot of books is because I've been at college, and if you can't tell, I am back with my books and at home for the summer. And so I haven't had all these books with me at once. So I haven't been able to film a book haul, but now that I'm back, I have all these books and if I don't talk about a book for a long time, it's because there's so many and I don't want this video to be super long, so let's get on into it. The first book I want to show you is Unravel Me by Tehera Mafi. This is the second book in the Shatter Me trilogy. I have yet to read the series, but it is probably like the highest priority for me right now. I've been wanting to read this forever and I know... Shatter Me is about a girl named Juliet who has a deadly touch and that is all I know, that is all I want to know. I'm just very excited to read this series. I own all three of them now so I could just fly through them so hopefully that'll happen soon. The second book I have here is probably my most exciting book, like I'm obsessed with it, and that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. This edition is beautiful. I can't even like describe the beauty. Oh my goodness. I have been seeing this everywhere, like all different editions of Harry Potter and so I slowly went to collect this edition because it is beautiful. I bought this on the book depository for like eight dollars and it's just really cool also because all of my Harry Potter say Sorcerer's Stone and now it says Philosopher's Stone so I just think that's really cool too because it's like the original title so yeah, very excited about this one. The next book I have here is The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. This is a realistic fiction book about a girl whose brother's best friend rapes her and so she has to deal with that and I think it's a course over a course of like a few years that she's dealing with this and so trigger warning for rape and all of that but I love realistic fiction and I saw this at Walmart and it's a new release for like nine dollars so I was very very excited so hopefully I get to this soon because it sounds super intriguing. The next book I have here is The Chess Queen Enigma by Colleen Gleason. This is the third book in the Stalker and Holmes trilogy series. I'm not sure if there's going to be another book or not. I haven't read the first two but my mom has read the whole series now and she loved it and I owned the first two so she bought me the third one. And I'm very excited because this is like a um, Sherlock and Holmes retelling so that sounds really really cool. My mom said there's like vampires and stuff in it so I'm so in. Then I have Rebel by Amy Tintera. This is the second book in the reboot duology. It's the sequel and all I know is this girl dies and then she comes back to life. I know, I'm so good at explaining things. But yeah, this is a duology and they don't seem very long and they seem really, really good. My mom has read these once again and she loved them and I've been wanting to read them forever and now I have both of them so I can go ahead and get those out of the way. Next, I have Ruin and Rising by Leigh Bardugo. This is the third and final book in the Grisha trilogy, which I have yet to start, but it's also a huge priority on my list. I really, really want to start it. All I know is it has a character called the Darkling and it's set in Russia and a bunch of people like it. So I have this now and I have all three of them so I can just marathon through the series and yeah, very excited. The next book I have to show you goes along with the previous book and that is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. This is the spin-off of the Grisha trilogy. I've heard that everyone loves this a whole lot more which is saying a lot because everyone loves the Grisha trilogy and this is just beautiful. Like I know you've seen it everywhere but it is beautiful and I'm so excited to read the other trilogy so I can go ahead and start this because I've heard nothing but good things. Next I got this book for free at my college. They were just give away free books and this is the one I picked up and it is Under the Blood Red Sun by Graham Salisbury and it's about World War II and this kid is in Hawaii when the Pearl Harbor gets bombed and stuff and it just sounds super super good. I love like war stories and I don't know I'm just like really 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 obsessed and interested in World War II history and things like that so so excited about this one. The next thing I have here is The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, aka J.K. Rowling. This was $8 at Barnes & Noble and my boyfriend bought it for me and I'm so excited to finally own this series by J.K. Rowling because I love her and I just want to read everything she puts out. 
So all I know is this is like a mystery something and I love mysteries so now I have it, now I can read it. This next book is Virals by Kathy Reeks, Reeks and Brendan Reeks. I don't know how you say their name. But I was in Books A Million and this cover caught my eye and the tagline here says if you like the TV show Bones, you'll love Virals and Bones is the TV show that got me into the field that I am going to be in so I am obsessed with anything like that and it sounds super super good. It's apparently the niece of, the grand niece of Temperance Brennan from Bones so if you know that show you know who Brennan is and I'm just very excited to get this. This series like has a lot, a lot of books in it, but all the covers are beautiful and it just sounds so interesting. So I'm very, very excited to read this. The next book is also super, super exciting and it just came out and that is The Trials of Apollo, book one, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan. I absolutely love all of his covers. They are so beautiful. This is about the god Apollo who angers Zeus, so Zeus sends him down to earth to spend his life as a teenage boy, which sounds hilarious, and I love Rick Riordan's books, and Greek mythology is one of my favorite things, so I am very thrilled to get to this book. The next book I have here is H2O by Virginia Bergen. I've already read this. It's about rain that has a bacteria in it and so if you get it on you, you die and it's, I love apocalyptic stories and this was just super super good. It's a series but the second one isn't out in America yet. The European title is called The Rain and it's just so 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 good and I love it. <laughs> The next book is, was also free at my college, and that is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I don't have this edition, I have a different edition of the series, so I want to collect this edition too, and it was free, so I had to pick it up. The next book is super, super exciting, and that is because it is my first ARC ever, and this is called The Lost and Found by Katrina Leno. I was sent this by Katrina, which I'm so, so thankful for. Thank you so much, Katrina, for sending this to me. She also signed it and put a little note in it, which was so, so amazing, and I'm so excited to read this. It is about two people named Franny and Louie, and they meet online, and it's for an online support group for trauma survivors, and so they're like best friends online, which relatable, and apparently they seem to keep losing things and as they're going to meet each other they keep finding something that belongs to the others but apparently when they meet each other those things never seem to matter anyway sorry if I just did not describe that well at all but it is a cute contemporary and I'm just very excited about this because it just seems super super cute and very like realistic and just great I'm very excited to read this it comes out July 2016. The next book I'm currently reading and that is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. If you haven't heard about this, where have you been? Because everyone on booktube is talking about it. The movie is coming out soon so I'm trying to read this before the movie comes out and hopefully I enjoy it like everyone else. This next book is massive and that is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Dark Artifices series which I'm so excited about. I love Cassandra Clare and all the Shadowhunter books. It is so, so big, but I am so excited to get to this, and I can't wait. This next book is absolutely beautiful, and that is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Like, look at this. It's just, it's just beautiful. It has silver, mm, okay. It's, it's so pretty. I have not read this yet, ever, nothing for school or anything. I actually have read... A few chapters of Through the Looking Glass for one of my English classes but I just love these editions I got this at Barnes & Noble so I'm very excited to get to this and it's just it's just beautiful this next book is exciting as well they're all exciting what am I saying and that is the epidemic by Suzanne Young this is the sequel to the remedy which is a spin-off series from the program I love Suzanne Young she's so so nice and I just I love this series and it's just great. I pre-ordered this and so because I pre-ordered it she sent me signed bookmarks and a signed book plate which was so so awesome and I'm just super excited to get to this because I've loved every book so far. And the last book before the book outlet unboxing is Grace and Style The Art of Pretending You Have It by Grace Helbig. I have recently 
been watching Grace like crazy and I love her and I actually ordered this and it is signed. I am so, so thrilled about that. If you don't know, Grace Helbig is a very famous YouTuber. She's hilarious. You should definitely go check her out and I'm just excited to go through this because I bet you it's just as hilarious as she is. Now, I have the book outlet unboxing. I could not find my scissors, so I have a knife. Could be dangerous. It's fine. <laughs> okay, there's like eight books in here, I believe. So let us see. I remember some of the ones I ordered. I don't remember all of them, though. There's that. Oh my goodness. Okay, the first thing I see in here is the... Princess Diaries books, I'm not sure, I know this is the first one, Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot, and then Princess in the Spotlight, I'm not sure if this is the second one or not, but I've been wanting to read the series forever, I used to love these movies like crazy, and it just sounds so cute and awesome, and they're all going to be so pretty together, I'm so excited about that. Next thing I see in here is Robin Hood by Roger Lancelin Green, okay, this is beautiful, this is like that new edition thing. Book Outlet has a bunch of classics in like these new editions. They are so, so pretty. And I decided to get this one just because I have never read Robin Hood and it just sounds really good. So yeah, don't have much to say about it, but it's gorgeous. More paper. Oh, cool. Okay. I got Burn for Burn by Ginny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I've heard that this is great and I love Jenny Han. I've never read anything by Siobhan Vivian. I bet I'm saying that wrong, but it's fine. And I'm just really excited about this. I think it's a trilogy. Duology? Trilogy? I think it's a trilogy. But I'm really excited about this. Okay, here's another Princess Diaries book, Princess in Love. This is either the second or third one. I know I got books one, two, three. I just don't know which order they go in. But yeah. I also got this book called Far, Far Away by Tom McNeil. It says right here, this tagline, in a small town where nothing ever happens, everything is about to change. It sounds super incredible. I think it's like fairy tale stuff. I don't know. It just kept catching my eye on Book Outlet because the cover's beautiful, so I had to buy it. And then I have Something Real by Heather Demetrios. This is one of those where the cover kept jumping out at me and it was just like, buy me, buy me. And so I finally, finally did. I think this is about a girl who grew up on a TV show and yeah that's all I really know but I love TV I love this cover I love books so hopefully I'll enjoy this and the last book in here is The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen I'm trying to collect all of Sarah Dessen's books I love her books I have loved every book that I've read by her and this is just another cute contemporary book she writes cute contemporaries and they all do have romances in them but they also have like a hidden like underlying real meaning about it and they all just have a lesson to give which is really really awesome so I'm super excited to read this one because I love Sarah Dessen and that is it for my book haul so many books so many books that I'm very very excited to read thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye